Uh, in the following video, I would like to introduce myself and it's going to have three parts. In the first part, uh, you will learn about what I do with my clients, how I work in my practice. In the second part, uh, you will learn about uh, who comes to my practice and what are the topics we mostly discuss. And in the third part, you will learn more about my professional journey and how I got here. So in the first part of the video, uh, I will talk about how I approach my therapy and uh, the methods that I use. The sessions themselves can already be helpful because we create an environment that is full of trust. However, I do have the best experience uh, when people apply assignments and exercises that I give them during the sessions uh, to their everyday life. Because while in the sessions we can touch and look at the different perspectives we can approach life with, uh, it's when we apply those different perspectives and try doing different new things and apply new patterns to our behavior, when we can actually create real long-lasting changes in our lives. And this is why I apply coaching and therapeutic exercises uh, together with systemic uh, approach to therapy. In couples therapy, I also apply Kim Anami teachings for uh, the topics of intimacy, together with acceptment and commitment therapy uh, around sexual issues. And for those who want to dig even deeper, I use Imago therapy, the principles of Imago therapy, which is based around psychoanalysis. So in the second part, we will talk about uh, who comes to my therapy and what are the topics that we mostly discuss in the therapy. Humans by nature are social creatures. Uh, we thrive on having good relationships and the quality of life is directly influenced by the quality of our relationships that we have with other people. Uh, in individual uh, therapies, uh, we look at our inner mindset and the way we approach other relationships. Um, in couples therapy, we're also able to look at not only those two individuals that we work with, but at the relationship itself. So in couples therapy, we work with the three entities all together. Uh, the th things that influence the quality of our relationships are many and while it's not easy, it's not difficult to access the information what influences all the relationships, but it's difficult to navigate this sometimes and this is where therapy can be very helpful. In couples therapy, there is also the issue of intimacy that I often discuss with my clients and uh, we specifically look at the topic from different starting points with different couples. I have people coming to me uh, with problems, uh, experiencing difficult life circumstances. I have people coming to me when their skills to deal with everyday life uh, just somehow gets difficult. But I also have people who use therapy as a way of growing and further developing as human beings. And last but not least, uh, some words about my professional journey. I studied uh, universities in Czech Republic where I focused on international relations and in England where um, the center of my studies was around studying the consumer mind and marketing research. This was followed by 15 years of communication expertise where I mostly uh, started to study uh, the consumer mind and the human behavior. Uh, and the six years, the past six years, took me uh, more towards uh, individual psychology, psychotherapy, coaching and helping others. Um, from the wide range of education, I'm able to build a practice which is set around the systemic approach, uh, principles of positive psychology, 
Acceptance and Commitment Therapy for Sexual Issues, Kim Anami Teachings. Uh, and I also love to apply uh, the MAGA therapy uh, with the practice of psychoanalysis for those cases where to, we need to dig a little bit deeper into our past. Thank you for being here with me today and I look forward to meeting you on uh, the journey uh, towards a more fulfilling and happy life. Have a nice day.